How's it going everybody? This is the Redhead Gamer and I would like to welcome you to my Darkest Hour playthrough. I haven't really played this game much, so if I do horribly, please forgive me. Anyway, we're going to be playing during the Great War and we're going to be playing as the Republic of China. I played as them earlier, but you know, I didn't really know what I was doing, so let's get to it. Anyway, let's adjust the options real quick. Anyway, all of it looks pretty good except for uh, the democracies can't declare war thing. I don't know if I should enable that or disable it, but you know what, let's just enable it. Might as well. You know, be cooler anyway. So, let's apply that, and now let's get to it. So, I would like to thank my friends Lighthouse for buying this game for me. I mean, I really appreciate it, bro. I can't believe you actually did it, but, you know, thanks, man. And yeah, for those of you who don't know what Darkest Hour is, it's, uh, it's basically Hearts of Iron, as you can tell by the little main menu right there, which says a Hearts of Iron game. But, uh, it's just a little changed up, you know? I've only played Hearts of Iron 3, so I can't really tell you how 2 or 1 was, so I don't really know how to compare it to the other two. But compared to Hearts of Iron 3, I kind of like it better. So, you know, let's get into it. Once this loading screen gets done, we'll actually get into the game. Yeah. The one thing I don't like about it, though, is you can't really play Beyond. So once World War One ends, the game ends. Anyway, yeah, as you can see here, the game ends in December 30th of 1920. So, yeah. We gotta complete whatever we're gonna complete within that time limit. And we gotta choose a side. So we either gotta choose the Triple Entente or the Central Powers. Anyway. Man, I've been saying anyway a lot. That's a bad sign. It means I'm running out of stuff to talk about. Quick! Look around the room! Oh, here's my wallet. I like my wallet. It's, uh, you know, a black leather wallet. That's how amazing it is. You all wish you had a wallet like this. Did I say wallet correctly? No, I probably didn't because I just, like, took a drink there. Yeah. Great stuff. Anyway, these are the victory points all around the map we gotta take if we wanna win. So there's a few here and there. And uh, let's adjust our government so we become fascist. Nothing like being a authoritarian, am I right? It's nice having full control. What are you guys gonna do about it? Absolutely nothing. Exactly, good people. Exactly. There's two in Korea, and there's a few others all around us, but I don't really think I could take those. Especially from British controlled India or the British Raj or whatever they want to call it Though so, I'm gonna move my troops up towards the Mongolian border. I'm also gonna move them up towards King Hao and uh, that British area Usually when you ally with the British They'll give you their province and you can easily kick the Germans out and take their province for your own, so that's a good way to get a bit of land from the people who've colonized you. Mongolia is always an easy target, so let's head up there. You know, just train some troops and send them up there. I don't really know which troops I should train though, so I'm just gonna train infantry, just because they seem to be the, you know, the meat of the army. Like they are in all games. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, let's start research and technology. We should probably get that stuff done. Turns out, though, we can't get any motorized vehicles until 1935. Which sucks, but oh well. We can start training 1907 infantry. So let's pick this mathematical institute to start the research. And let's start researching so we get better troops on the field here. What else should we be worrying about? Eh. Britain probably ain't gonna form. 
the triple entente until World War One starts, so we have a bit of time to wait. So once everything gets rolling, we're just going to join them. And then we're going to begin expanding our glorious empire. Soon, China will control a good chunk of Asia. And all our rightful land shall belong to us. Tibet belongs to us. Mongolia and parts of Russia. Soon, our conquest will be complete and everything will go fine. Just like I've always hoped it would. Haven't you guys hoped it would be like that? I bet you have. So, I tried to play a multiplayer game with my friends today on Darkest Hour here. And we tried Game Ranger and Hamachi and it just sucked. And I know it wasn't me because I port forwarded and everything and I opened all the ports and I'm pretty sure I did. I checked them every you know twice just to make sure and I still couldn't connect and the problem is is that whenever game ranger starts up it takes me to the launcher but it won't start up the game itself and I uh, I fired up the launcher and I fired up the game through the launcher but it kept taking me to the main menu so I don't know how to fix that but once I find out I might start uploading some multiplayer for you guys and whatnot but until then, you'll just have to enjoy my glorious, glorious single-player campaign. Yeah, Britain ain't gonna be accepting an alliance offer from us anytime soon. So we'll just have to wait for him to get into the war, and then we can probably join. Or at least have a better chance of joining. Uh. Indochina. I, I want to take that land back, but at the same time, I know I can't because they're a puppet of France, and France and Britain and all of them will probably just, you know, bulldoze through my lands if I try. I could probably take one on, but a whole army? No, not at all. So yeah, we're just gonna have to expand our borders and gain as much land as we possibly can. And then we're just going to have to say screw it and relax, guys. Or at least that's the plan. What's going on over here? Oh, ho, ho. I have no idea what's going on, honestly. <laughs> it's pretty boring right now. I'm just moving all my troops into place. There ain't much to talk about, ain't much going on. I'm not very experienced, so I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now, so... You know, if there's something I should be doing, go ahead and tell me. I could join Germany, but... Nah. I don't feel like it right now. Well... You know, I'd rather join the Triple Entente. Because this game pretty much follows history, and, you know, anybody with a basic history lesson on uh, World War One knows what happens. <laughs> and yeah, I really don't want to join the losing side. Also, it seems that the Triple Entente's a better option for China, since you're able to gain much more land. Then again, as Germany, well, as Germany's ally, you might be able to gain a lot of land too, because you could probably take out some of a uh, India and Hong Kong and Portugal City and whatnot. So I don't know for sure. But Japan really hates me. I mean, they always do these smear campaigns and stuff. It's like, come on, guys. You know what I mean? But it seems like they don't care. So it's like, yeah, whatever. Screw you guys, too. Look at you guys acting all tough and whatnot. Like, yeah, we're Japan. We're an island right next to you. And soon we will invade. Actually, they control Korea too, but you get the idea. You guys get the idea. I'm pretty sure y'all do. That's why we gotta dream. Dream of the glorious People's Republic of China ruling the world. You know what I mean. You guys do.